All right, y'all, this is Willie Bill. Uh, today, what I got for you is a, um, these are referred to as multi-tools. Uh, multi meaning more than one. Uh, tool referring to, to tool. Uh, this one here is a leather man. Uh, this is a leather man signal, multi-tool. Uh, leather man has a, uh, They've been around a long time to make a lot of these things. Uh, this one, I'm not sure if there's a newer or older one. It's fairly new to me. Uh, and I've had good luck. I, I've used Leatherman for years. And uh, they're super reliable. Uh, work real well. Uh, yeah, there's not a whole lot you could say. They kind of set the standard for these type of things. Uh, this one in particular uh, has got some new features. So. Uh, to start off, it's got a little clip here so you can hook it on stuff. Uh, this can also be used as a bottle opener. So if you have a bottle, tasty beverage, you need to uh, get inside. This is uh, it could be useful for that. Um, you can also kind of use this to hammer on stuff. I uh, believe, see the way that opens up? I didn't even give you a warning. I was going to do that. I think you can smash on stuff like that. Um, it's got a little hex wrench in here. Um, it opens up. And the main tool that these Leathermans have is this pliers. The good pliers, surprisingly good pliers. This one's got a cutter blade. Um, it's actually replaceable. You can see there's some hardware there. If you did damage it, you could remove the uh, cutting blade and, uh, and repair it. This one has a whistle in it that I am not sure how to remove. Shoot. Do I lift it? I did not do my pre-work and I can't say I've ever needed to whistle. So I'm not 100% sure how to remove this whistle. What I do know how to do with this is take out the knife blade. You can do it one-handed which is nice. Uh, it's a good knife blade. I use this for a bunch of stuff. Uh, it does lock, which is super important. It is uh, what's called a liner lock. Uh, if y'all don't know, know what a liner lock is, this little piece of metal kind of comes out and uh, you got to push that in and then you can close a blade. Be very careful when you're going to do that so you don't cut your finger. Uh, but if you're familiar with how a liner lock works, a lot of times you can actuate them one-handed. Yeah, look at that then you can close it. So, uh, on the other side, we've got a different tool, uh, which is a little harder to access. That right there is a saw. Uh, it's real nice. You can saw on things with it, because that's what you do with a saw. Don't, don't ask stupid questions. I'm sorry. I'm just, just explaining things here. Uh, this here, that there is like a little file, I think. You can use that for making a spark. There goes the dog. Sorry, squirrel. <clears throat> um, inside here, we've got... Uh, this is a release uh, for when you have these items pulled out. This is a little sharp thing item. I'm not sure what you do with that, but I imagine you make a hole or something. This one here, that's your can opener. And you see the way it locks in place? And you push that, and you can bring it back down. And this one here is one I also use quite a bit. Uh, it's a screwdriver. Uh, you can flip that around and use your different screwdriver bits. Uh, that's super handy. Again, it's locked in place unless you hit that release. Bring it back in. That's pretty much all the functions. I don't think you need to watch me plier or screw or cut. You know how all those things happen. Uh, and there's plenty of videos on the internet already of people doing that. And there's probably a destruction test. There's that one guy. He's always smashing shit. Uh, he's fun to watch. And uh, it's always interesting to see how those things hold up. I don't have disposable income like that, though. So nobody's sending these to me for free. So I need to take good care of them. 
So I will continue to take good care of my Leatherman signal. Uh, good multi-tool. Leatherman is a good company, so if you need something like this, uh, yeah, I'd recommend a Leatherman signal. I like it. That's it for me. thought that screw was loose. <laughs> screw loose, that's funny, right? Because I sure don't have that problem. That's it for me. Uh, if you uh, subscribe and like and follow, do all that kind of thing, I'd appreciate it. And uh, if you got suggestions for other items I should review, uh, put them down in the comments and uh, see if I can get to them. Uh, uh, till then, uh, thank you very much. Get outdoors and uh, we'll talk soon. Take care now. Like a ninja. Not doing it the other way because I'm going to smash my knuckles.